By the way, uh, are you okay if I'm making a vlog about this? Because of course I'll be happy. Right, you'll be happy, right? It's a wonderful day, good time to hit the gym. Done working out, breakfast, bath, back to work. By the skies is just amazing today. Amazing, right? Wonderful. Bye honey. Have a good day. What's up everyone? Welcome back. Quite a beautiful day here in Mumbai. Actually in Badlapur because I'm vlogging from Badlapur. Now that's quite an unnecessary detail but anyways all those who are watching this video I want you all to spend some more time and watch my other videos do let me know what you think about it you can just comment down below in the comment section and I'll just know anyways now this whole scene that I'm doing right now was to be recorded yesterday I even started recording Okay, I want to do a little story time. But before that... But something was missing. I was losing daylight. I mean, I almost lost it because I started my day late and all that shit happened. And I had spent the whole day figuring out what do I and how do I make the vlog. Anyways, I tried to fix the light by adding some more light in the background but I couldn't fix it. So I continued doing some stuff that I wanted to cover up in the time and finish that before the day ends and I even couldn't finish that so now I'm left with a vlog to finish and a whole lot of things to take care of so I'm going to do the story time today while I try to finish the work so let's not waste more time here and let's get started It's sad in 2015 when they killed my friend. When a lot of people lost their jobs, I was one of them. So I was wondering, hunting for jobs, creating for opportunities. Now, speaking about jobs, I remember this one interview because it was a big company and the interview was in Trident Hotel. So I was kind of excited about it. There was this guy who was asking questions, the interviewer of course. Some I could answer, some I couldn't. But at the end of the interview, he asked something. I gave him a very simple answer. He asked me like, what do you think an interview designer is? I gave him a very simple answer which was like, I think an interview designer is an artist. Now, he says, Ninath, you don't look like an artist. And that's it. This thing stayed in my head ever since. And that's it. I gave up the idea of doing jobs and decided to do something on my own. So I started my interior design firm and then the blogging thing came in. Now, this is fortunate but apparently I also got married during the same period which was like 28 December which is today. Today is our anniversary, yes. All this work is going on for the same reason. Which means I had more responsibilities and less time to figure out how to do the business and all other stuff. Oh. Speaking about business, any business, I mean, any business, it doesn't work out just like that. It takes a lot of time, maybe a year or two, maybe three. Totally depends on what work you do, what business you have, how do you run it and all that. But this means I had a lot of free time. And in this free time, I discovered my love and passion for video making. Before this, 
I use I used YouTube. I watched videos on YouTube, but I really didn't know what vlogging is. It took me almost a year to figure out what this thing is. How does it work? What and I do on this. So I spent the whole year from 2016 thinking and thinking, overthinking what what I can do, how do I get started. And then one day I just jumped into it. I just got started. That's why I, that's why I made the first video. That's what I'll talk about, about the push, about the process. And this process taught me a lot of things. It taught me how to be positive. It taught me how to be creative. It taught me how to push your own boundaries to succeed until you achieve whatever you in life and ever since I realized all this stuff I've always been learning and learning and learning trying to do things better let that be a video or interiors or a decoration or anything that I can I, I want to do I always have to do it as much better as I can so that's it that's the story so I just wanted to convey from this that whenever you want to do something try to do it better every time it's it's not like it's going to happen just like that. You'll have to suffer. You'll have to go through a lot of stress and a lot of depression, a lot of things that you don't want in life. But trust me, when you go that side, it's going to be better. It's always going to be better. Like it's, it's always said that the grass is always green on the other side. This is a very flop performance. And that's it. That's the whole story. I hope you guys liked it. It wasn't so happening, but I really hope you guys liked it now. I need to get back to work and do all the stuff so that I can surprise my wife. In the evening, I'll just show you all what I did.